my standpoint, a better man than me once said, uh, women hold up half the world. So it behooves everybody to get off their butts and do something. <laughs> Women's professional cycling has been in full force since the 1970s, recognized as an Olympic sport in 1984. Still, the pro-women continue to struggle for fairness and recognition in this male-dominated sport. Oh, a big supporter of women's cycling. They need the right sponsorship and the right races to really build that up, and uh, a TV package that helps expose and understand who the riders are. You know, 99% of, of the women out there are just striving to make it. I think it it's quite funny when someone like Pat McQuaid says, oh, you yeah, know, women's cycling hasn't progressed to the level of a minimum wage. Well, why hasn't it? That's his job, to make sure it does. We have a governing body of the sport of cycling saying that women aren't capable. These are not scientists. Uh, these are not psychologists. Uh, this is politics. And I think the issue of equality is broader than just sports. When we're in, living in a democracy and you're equal, everybody's equal. Some people shouldn't be more equal than others. Jack up and wake up. What I love about cycling is um, the speed. It reminds me a lot of NASCAR and Ricky Bobby, and I just like like to zoom in through people, and it's just fun. And you know, for me, it's the most freeing activity I've ever partaken in. I have to tell you, I don't give a shit if I get a prize money if I'm world champion. You make um, choices. I don't call them sacrifices because this is what I love to do. This is what is normally supposed to happen when you're in your upper 20s. You're supposed to have a job, a child. Uh, I just threw that out the window. <laughs> we just love this sport that much that we know we're taking risks when we get on that bike. Oh no! Oh my god! Disaster for Kristen Armstrong. She has fallen at the top turn. What did you really think happened out there in the course of a day uh, with a peloton? Everybody stopped, put on makeup, or what? What, what did you really think? But I did it anyway. So I think that one of the most important things for us to do is to get out that word about women's inherent capability and start changing all sports. Well, it's going to happen anyway, but especially in cycling, where the women have a critical mass now and want to make it happen. I hopefully broke down conceptions of, of what was possible for, for women to achieve. But I also believe we need more women's races run in tandem with the men's races, and I don't understand why that doesn't happen. And women sporting, women cycling is popular. But why don't we have a Tour de France for women? Fantastic! And that, that's my biggest dream, to raise the Tour de France. You know, if we hold up half the sky, and we are, where's our half of the road right now? This is where we need everything to come together and bring the next level up. What do you think the most fun part about racing your bike would be? <laughs>